Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk UAV video. Today we're talking about the Moza. I focus on the Moza Air 2 developed by Goodson. We're gonna see how it works, if it works good, if it's easy to use and if you need it. No more talking, let's go inside. Hello guys and welcome again, this is Alex Asmacher with Chivo on the camera. Let's put everything clear from the beginning. What is this? This is a focusing system for your camera, but the good thing and the innovative thing is that it goes directly connected to your gimbal. Until now all those kind of systems were connected to your camera, you had to put all the stuff around your camera and it was kind of complicated, but right now with a simple cable and some wireless modules you can use it on your gimbal and this will make your life much easier. Who is gonna need this? First, people that have manual lenses, like for example us, wide angle lens that are manual or they do shoot with cinema lenses. Second, people that are in bigger productions or if you are doing some kind of event and you don't wanna be losing your time doing like this with the gimbal or you just have a focus puller somewhere else that can help you to do this. And third and most important, people that just wanna look cool and use it in order to, you know, look cool. The original price right now, you can find the iFocus only the motor for $199 and you can pre-order this motor with the hand unit for $299. bucks. we will leave you a link anyways in the description. In this video we're gonna show you if it's easy to set up, easy to use and overall if we are gonna be using it possibly in the future. And now, of course, you see that there is more weight you have to balance again and calibrate the Moza Air 2. Now that it's balanced, we're going to use this cable that looks like a 3.5 millimeter jack. You plug it in here and you go here at the back part. I don't know if you can see Chivo. There's a multi-can uh, port. You just connect it and now we would be ready to use it. Now this is the hand unit and as you can see it has an LCD display and a menu. Uh, in the menu the first thing you want to do is just enter this wireless and pair it uh, to the motor. We have already done this, we are paired. Here at the LCD display just say that it tells you whether you're paired, how much battery is left and the most important here is that you want to set up a starting and a finishing point in order not to break this system so that when using the wheel, uh, the wheel already knows where it starts and where it finishes. If the LED is blue, it means that you're already paired and the not so good thing is that every single time you turn it on, you'll have to calibrate the motors in order to tell it where the finishing and the starting points are. Look at this! Woohoo! And of course, I can be very very far away and I will be able to pull the focus this way. The feeling right now that I have, it's a pretty solid device. It does not look any cheap at all. Uh, it's the antennas seem to be strong and all the parts are really strong so I'm pretty pretty happy and positively surprised by this device. And the question was whether we were uh, liking it and using it in the future. <laughs> Look at this. And of course um, we mainly use a Sony with autofocus that you have there. We wouldn't be using it with that lens probably but with some shots we do use the Samyang, the wide angle lens 12 millimeters and this cable with this dial here will help us pretty much in all situations. So the, so, so the first part of the answer is yes, we will be using it for sure in the future. Now, this part 
we don't discard it yet because uh, we plan, of course, at some day <laughs> doing bigger productions, not only in WeTalk UAV, but also, you know, if you're using it for some paid jobs or whatever. And this will be very, very helpful in order to have a second person with a monitor that will give you that extra professional look. An example for that would be uh, if you are doing some kind of shooting with cars and you are at the window like this holding the camera it's sunny you can't really see the screen you don't know if you're pulling the focus correctly or not another person helping you with that would be just great overall we're pretty happy to have been testing this because at the beginning we thought it could be complicated when you see this you know you think oh my god there are cables complicated bells and, and stuff that goes wireless we don't know but the setup was really easy as you could see and overall the result is pretty pretty good even though as i'm saying it looks complicated you don't really need to purchase anything extra or some Thing special for your special lens or camera because all the details and all the extras are included first uh, of course in here and second at the uh, bigger Moza Air 2 case there was all the screws and everything was included and this pretty much leaves us pretty happy pretty 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 and nothing really else to say we hope that you like this video we're gonna be using maybe if you leave us some comments uh, whether we tested or you want to know something special we can answer that and do it for you guys nothing really to say leave the thumb if you liked it and of course the review is coming soon and the comparison too so stay tuned nothing more to say always remember to keep calm and talk to you